What's going on y'all, it's Jack here with the Appalachian Farm Hand Channel. We are back out here on the property to kick off the 2024 spring turkey season. I got Blake and Bryson out here and we've been hearing them gobble all night. <laughs> Right. <laughs> so y'all stay tuned if I can get my voice to quit cracking So for those of you who are new to the channel, this is the mobile hunting setup that we built in an episode previous to this one. I'll try to put a link to it up above if you want to see that. This is eight inches of memory foam inside of a sleeping bag that I put on a platform that I built out of a pallet that I found. Um, it is the best sleeping setup that I've ever found. It's in the bed of my truck so I can take it anywhere that I want to go hunt or fish. We have been hearing gobblers sounding off all night long in multiple locations on the property so there should be some good action in the morning so y'all we're going to get to sleep and we'll catch back up with y'all in the morning all right good morning y'all it is now officially opening day of the 2024 spring turkey season uh, we got up early around 4 30 it was a little hard to sleep um, it's the first time i've ever gotten to hunt on opening day so i was pretty excited but also I had to pee and my neck hurt so <laughs> we we got up and started a fire and started making breakfast so we're probably gonna head out into the woods here in another 10-15 minutes so y'all uh i guess i'll meet y'all out in the woods all right y'all there is about a two percent chance that i make it to where i'm heading without Falling in a hole or getting abducted by aliens. <laughs> All right, y'all. So I've stopped over here in the apple orchard. And, uh, can't rightly see much of anything. But uh, I'll set up a decoy out of here. back in then if there's any action going on then at least we got a decoy out here so all right cool we're gonna keep on pushing essentially i'm gonna head up to the front gate and then uh take a left off into the woods all right y'all so we're in here and we're all set up so I'm going to throw my veil on. Um, you know, the sun's starting to heat up the sky, so it's about time for action, y'all. I'm all pumped up. All right, y'all, so we're coming up on just about 7 o'clock now. Um, it was exceptionally dark when we came in. It was cloudy and I mean, the moon was bright last night, but some clouds moved in this morning and so when we were coming in, it was especially dark. And uh, I'm actually liking the setup right now, so I'm pretty excited about that because I just knew that this was the general area that I wanted to come to. I didn't come scout it out before because I am an idiot. But uh, really liking where we're at. Sitting on the back side of a ridge, so the property line is three to my right, probably about five yards off. Um, last night we could hear them gobbling back off the other side of this ridge. So, um, at this point, it's just a waiting game. Earlier, I don't know if I got any good footage of it because I'm not able to play it back right now, but I threw out an owl call. <laughs> And it summoned three very uh, sexually frustrated owls, and they landed on the tree that I'm leaning up against. Oh, my God. 
Also, it's almost eight. There's been no action so far. Nothing. The squirrels aren't even out. Crazy. We sort of anticipated the wind kicking up a little bit because it was calling for low wind, which here on the James River means that it's going to be ripping trees out of the ground. The, the hunt continues. Earlier I heard a shot uh, back off in the direction that Bryson, Bryson and Blake are, but I shot them a text message. I don't think there's service on that portion of the property. There's very limited service. As I said before, we hunt on, so can't be killing them all the time, or just be called killing on hunt. How are you? If anything happens, you'll be the first to know. There's been a lot of red tail hawk activity around here. Excuse me. They, they don't typically attack turkey. I guess they've been known to take down turkey, and I wonder that's why I'm not hearing anything right now, because... There's a bunch of them. I mean, there's three or four of them over here. Ooh, 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 ooh. So Blake and Bryson jumped two birds on accident trying to swing around them. Um, so they blew out their spots. So they headed back to the truck. I don't know what's going on. I think it might be the wind, but they're quiet over here if they are over here. So I had to see some cool stuff this morning. A bunch of red tail hawks. Had a couple really horny owls flying on me. <laughs> Then we got Elmer Fudd and Bonnie Fife running through the woods together. It's a hell of a combo. That's <laughs> when got the funky chicken back, and I'm heading back to the uh, the campsite, but. It makes you appreciate just how pretty this place is. Hey, boys. So, anything? Not a thing. Not a thing. Just a bunch of horny owls. All right, y'all. So we're back up here at camp. We got. <laughs> <laughs> it looks awfully homoerotic behind me. <laughs> All right, y'all. So we're back up here at camp. We're just gonna be hanging out for the rest of the day in the state of Virginia. You're only allowed to hunt during spring turkey season up until 12 p.m. It's for the first half of the season. It apparently it's for the first half of the season, so. Um, yeah, I guess next time you'll see me, we're, we're having pork chops for dinner, so, or pork, pork, pork chop, <laughs> potentially. I don't know how much food we actually have, which is an issue. A little bit of spam over here. Gotta get our daily sodium times nine. <laughs> I think it's higher than it probably was before. To bring y'all back up to speed, the river is at 12 feet. All right, y'all, so to give you some perspective here, if you're new to the channel, I am standing on the bridge, and as I said before, typically there's about six feet below me before you actually hit the water. But this tree has been stuck on this bridge for I don't even know how many months. It's been probably a year since this was broken or well over a year i'd say it's probably about a year and a half since that was broken but this has probably been on here for about six months now but it's floating so i'm just gonna come out here and push it off i was thinking i was gonna have to drag it off with the truck so i'm gonna see if i can get that done real quick all right so bryson isn't coming down the hill um and neither is blake so what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna take the tree and i'm gonna push it off that way and then when the water goes down, it should be able to just glide on out of here. So that's what I'm going to do. And hopefully it works long term. If not, we're, we're back to where we were. So here we go.
right, guys. Well, I think it's safe to say the river is high. <laughs> <laughs> um, probably won't be uh, getting down to the bottom land here anytime soon. So I think uh, tomorrow morning is going to be the apple orchard. So that's the plan. So I'm not sure if I've ever said this on the channel officially. We've never had anybody in our family kill a turkey out here before. Um, which is kind of sad. It's not kind of sad. It is sad. Um, and so we're trying to right this wrong currently. <laughs> um, that's uh, That's been the goal so far. That's where all the effort's coming from, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> 